Nick Kyrgios with the interview. The bromance continues. So Novak, I never thought I'd be here, by the way, doing this on-court interview. Well done. You know, that was a, an incredible performance. You know, Taylor has improved his game so much. You know, he had an 8-0 head-to-head. But, um, you know, you're gunning for an 11th title here. So what, what keeps you going right now in front of these fans? Yeah, I need a mic. Thanks, man. <laughs> good to see you, man. Great to see you. You're looking good in that booth, but looking better here. Hopefully with a record also soon. Um, yeah. We miss Nick. Come on, guys. Show him some love. Yeah. Uh, what was the question about? Okay, yeah, it was about me. Uh, man. I suffered a lot. Uh, first couple of sets. Um, also due to his high-quality tennis. He was serving well. He was uh, staying close to the line. He, you know, he was really... Uh, kind of suffocating me from, from, from back of the court. You know, I was, uh, you know, most of the rallies on my back foot. You know, it was really difficult to find the, the right timing. It was extremely hot while the sun was uh, still out there. Uh, yeah, physically very draining, emotionally as well. Uh, huge round of applause for, for Fritz for a great performance uh, today and also this tournament. He's played amazing tennis. So you were actually zero from 15 break points today, and that was the first time ever in your career you weren't able to take one. How were you able to keep bouncing back? And, you know, because he was serving great today. I sat in that box for four hours, by the way, commenting, you were blowing me kisses, and you were sticking your tongue out. But, yeah, zero from 15. How would you keep bouncing back? Felt, felt like playing you, man, with your serve. Um, I mean, Taylor, we all know Taylor has got one of the best serves in the world. Uh, he's had one of the best serves for many years. And when he's feeling it, I, I saw him playing Tsitsipas a few days ago, and he was serving extremely well. So I knew the, the kind of a threat he, uh, he poses when, when he serves uh, on such a high quality. Yeah, uh, conversion of the break points was really poor. I saw, I think it was four for 21 today, but I think in the end of the day, uh, I managed to break him when, when it mattered, you know, in the third and the fourth. Uh, I think I upped my game probably in midway to the third set, all the way to the end. Uh, I served extremely well. I think I had probably more, even more aces than he did, mm. which is uh, a surprise stat, but, you know, it, it helped a lot, obviously, in this kind of, this kind of matchup. So, your next match is either... So your next match is either between Yannick Sinner or Andrei Rublev, and you're going to keep them here till late tonight, by the way, because they're still going to be playing tonight. Are so you doing that match? No, 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 I'm going, I'm going to bed. Okay. But, um, yeah, so what are your thoughts on that? You know, some, you know, Sinner had some success against you to the end of last year, but, I mean, some two young guns there. Hello, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, different matchup, obviously... Uh, both Sinner and Rublev are in great form. You know, I, I watched uh, Rublev the other night against Deminor. I mean, five sets, uh, some of the quickest uh, exchanges, <laughs> grueling exchanges I've, I've seen uh, in Rod Laver Arena in years. Uh, you know, they both played incredible tennis. Sinner, he's probably playing tennis of his life. Mm. You know, he had a fantastic ending uh, of the last season, and we had a couple of great encounters in Torino, also Davis Cup. Um, very close ones, uh, going 7-6, 7-5 in the third. So, um, yeah, I can expect him to play always on the highest level. But, look, let's uh, get some popcorn, you and I. Put a, we chill on the sofa and uh, we enjoy them. Enjoy the match and watch them play. Uh, last, last question, because I know I'm probably never going to do this ever again. So I know there's a tree in the Bota Royal Botanical Gardens that you go to and you hug and I don't know what you do. But can you just show me which tree that is? Because I need to get healthy because I'm sick of you winning on this court. And I just want to come back maybe once and beat you one time. Yeah. Show me the tree. Where's the tree? Okay, I'll show you the tree. But you can't tell anyone. It's a big secret. So what you got to do is take off your shoes, climb the, the tree, the highest point, and hang upside down 
on one of the highest branches for 33 minutes and, and three seconds. <laughs> and you're going to win a slam. <laughs> All right, guys, Novak Djokovic give it up. He's into the quarterfinals, semifinals. 